so we're going to be talking about linchpins in this next part of our God Cancelled series. And there's all different kinds of linchpins that we use here on a, on a farm. You've got hitches like this you've got to put on a, on a truck and it'll use one linchpin to attach it to the truck, another one to make sure that it, is, that it is secure. You might use a linchpin like one of these to put an implement to a tractor or to a truck. You've got these little snap ring linchpins. You've got even cotter pins, which is a kind of linchpin. So linchpins are really, really important to us. And uh, So guys, what exactly is a linchpin according to the dictionary? Well, in the dictionary it's something that holds the various elements of a complicated structure together. But the word is also used metaphorically. The most important member of a group or a part of a system, the part that holds all the other members or parts together and makes it possible for them to operate as they were intended. And it's metaphorically used like this. A linchpin is a person or a thing that is the most important part of a group or a system's operation. In other words, a linchpin is Jesus. You see, guys, we've been looking at all these incredibly powerful evidences that there is a God. And then there's this Jesus, a man who claimed to be way more than just a man, and a, and a guy who did things that a mere man just simply cannot do. And then there's this event, not an idea, but an event. They claim Jesus raised from the dead. And guys, the evidence is it's absolutely overwhelming. Now, some guys cheat and they scoff because it was an extraordinary miracle. And guys, if there is no God, then go ahead and scoff. But if there is a God and the evidence for God is powerful, then the idea of rejecting the possibility of a miracle is irrational. The real question is, did the resurrection happen or not? And if it did, it's conclusive evidence for God. Case is closed. And if it did happen, it's conclusive evidence for Jesus as the Son of God. Case closed. And guys, that's where we're going next week, Easter.